Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be discussing why I think that this community is freaking terrible. Uh, a lot of people have always been wondering whenever I say that I think this community is terrible. And I think that this situation that's been going on recently in the community is a perfect example as to why I think this community is one of the worst MMO communities I've ever been a part of and probably one of the worst MMO communities or any video game community that I have ever seen before in my life, period. Uh, there's hardly ever anything constructive to come out of this community in the past year and a half. And if it is constructive, it's usually to, for something that's pathetic and pointless and just doesn't affect the game at all. Now, if you guys are unaware, there's been a situation with another YouTuber slash streamer for Black Desert named Blade Bolquis. Now, Blade is actually a, um, a, a much bigger personality than I am, if you haven't heard of him. He uh, prioritizes mainly on life skills uh, kind, kind of thing. He makes a lot of life skill videos and tips and things like that. I've uh, shot him around in, in the past and he and I have a, 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 a decent little um, relationship. We have conversations with each other and things like that. Nothing against him and he, I'm sure he has nothing against me. So uh, that's how that goes. But, you know, we're not like best friends or anything like that. So um, there's been this, there, there was a, there was a exploit. I made a video about it a few months back where basically you could essentially have two workers or multiple workers on one node. Now, the way to achieve this bug, the details are kind of sketchy. Honestly, I don't care enough to research it, but Blade Books was um, uh, uh, accused of enacting this bug and even went so far as to have supposedly shown that he was actually using this bug on his own live streams. Also, he was banned during a stream for using one of these bugs that uh, caused him to be caused him to be uh, caused the whole server to know that he was using it and bring more awareness to it and, and and such. But he was only banned for I believe one day, and then when he was unbanned, the servers went crazy or the community went crazy because they wanted him to be banned again. They wanted him to be permanently banned, not just temporarily banned. And ever since then, uh, Pearl Abyss or Cacao, I should say, have gone through a series of countermeasures to calm the community down in order to make sure that no players were, you know, upset. No players are upset about it and everybody's calm and cool and all that kind of thing, you know. And so the, the they did some PR and tried to say like, hey, look, this is something that we found out. We found out there are more people doing this and we've decided that we're not going to permanently ban them. We're going to ban them for a short period of time. Uh, and there's three people who did it too much to the point where they, we are going to perma ban them. So there were a, a large group of people who had done it for a long time and um, and but it wasn't enough for cacao to justify permanently banning them and then there was three people who were justified to be permanently banned by cacao now the three people who were permanently banned by cacao were not blade books blade books was in the other group that got the temporary ban so that should explain everything that should sum it all up blade was said to have <coughs> received a, a message from pearl abyss that said that he had gotten around 50 mil from his transaction uh nonetheless at that point the issue should be resolved everyone should understand that blade has received his punishment from pearl abyss or cacao sorry and that would be the end of it but with this community of course that's not the end of it so a lot of people go around making memes about blade trying to yada 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 things like that uh trying to exploit the game of course there's nothing wrong with memes in fact i found a lot of them very funny there's nothing wrong with that okay i'm not trying to tell everyone to just not make jokes jokes are fine but however then then something happened and that, that it, blade made a forum post that was about this situation where he tried to come clean and not only that expressed that he was trying to get 
things to be done justified. He was trying to get things to be done correctly. He wants that whatever punishment to come to be fair against him or anyone else, if even if he is a streamer. And of course, the community didn't buy this, but not only did the community not buy this, there's a 60 plus page thread going on right now to replying to this forum post that Blade made. And it is quite amazing to me how many people are willing to discuss and rally behind this idea of getting this person banned. Now, before I want to talk about how stupid it is that they care so much about this guy getting banned, first, I want to say that there were 40 other people who did the same thing that may be a little bit worse, if not worse, than Blade. Why is no one in this entire thread mentioning these other 40 people? Why are why is no one else putting on ban all exploiters, ban all game abusers? Why are people putting bland ban Blade on their icons? You want to know the answer? to this astounding riddle. It's because they don't care about exploiters getting banned. They don't care about people who got an extra 50 million silver or 100 million silver, whatever it may be. Because yes, it is cheating, but it's not a big deal at the end of the day. As long as they got banned and it doesn't happen anymore, who really cares? The thing that people are really trying to do is they're trying to get blade books banned and you can see this as clear as day all you have to do is just search that is their entire motivation is to get this guy banned why i don't know <laughs> because they don't like him why don't they like him i don't know they probably don't know why they don't like him but that's the besides the point i'm not going to try to understand the mind of a freaking idiot what i'm going to try to explain to you guys and why a lot of people uh, once again, ask me why this community is terrible. And this is a prime example of that. So here's why. Here's why they're idiots for even trying to get this guy banned uh, when or I wouldn't say trying to get him banned, but I'd say trying so hard to get him banned when there are so many more issues plaguing this game. For example, lag, for example, class imbalances, for example, quote unquote, people who have issues with pay to win. I know a lot of people, Some I know that's a touchy subject, so let's not go there, but lag, okay? Um, and also, like I said before, class imbalances. These are two issues that Black Desert is 100% plagued by. Um, the lag has gotten better, but even back when it was completely terrible and you could barely move around, there were no forum posts with 60 pages talking about that. Why all of a sudden, why all of a sudden is there a 60 page essay trying to get this one person banned? Why does the community try so hard, go through so much effort to get this guy banned than they would to make their own game better? I'll save you the trouble of trying to figure it out. It's because the community is fucking trash. The community is terrible in this game. Any new players who are watching this, anyone at all, good luck trying to get anywhere in this community. There's nothing but people who want to tear you down, make you feel like shit, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't affect me, but for the people who do get affected by that kind of thing, I can understand how this game could be a complete and total turnoff. And I wouldn't even blame you for saying, hey, man, this game looks great, but the community is shit fuck that shit and i wouldn't even blame you for a second you know what i mean but hey man that's just my two cents about this whole thing i want to know what you guys think in the comments box below obviously maybe blade did maybe blade did exploit maybe he did maybe he did intend on doing it because that's the big question is if he intended or if he didn't but the fact of the matter is it doesn't really matter if he exploited or not what matters is how hard we try to get this guy banned but we won't try to fix our own game it it honestly it honestly baffles my mind but you guys go ahead hit me up in the comment box thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace